Always happy to see her back on tour. She had a rough two seasons, really hard to get back on her feet, which she did uh, really impressively. After five weeks after injuries last season and the year before, she was back on her feet. But of course, it's uh, impossible to catch up if you miss an event or two even to uh, really finish strong in the overall rankings. She's the only Austrian in the field who's never won a world title. Ninth place last week in the first stop, so she does really need to kind of up her game a little bit. And she knows she needs that score, so yeah. this is always in her head. Great body language so far. Really strong riding. Look at that. No hesitation. That is definitely challenging the hot seat. She already has her throwaway score, a ninth place finish, so she needs a very solid result here to stay in the quest. Great skiing there, no hesitation whatsoever. I would say the strongest upper part that we've seen so far. Has uh, just moved to the top of the rankings. Look at that, yes. 91.33, awesome. This lady <laughs> is on a roll. Next rider up is the Austrian with the bib number in gold from the Alberg region, Lechem Alberg. She actually said she wanted it too badly in 2014. She's much more philosophical this year and she's had injuries to battle in 15 and 16. This year she's feeling fit. She's worked so hard to make sure she's in condition for this season and it's paying off. Here she is, our favorite to take the title in the Golden Bib, Lorraine Hoop. So it's crunch time again for the cut and now for the title. You can see competition riding is also a big time a mind game and she's so well centered not only skiing on her skis but also in her mind. She, she doesn't know yet, no. but <laughs> I can tell you. But she's happy, look at yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is and she had the right approach from the beginning of the season and also for this contest. She wants to be happy with her line and she can be because she rode strong, solid. 